scaling AI, how to make it work for your company, and what kind of hurdles can you expect along your AI journey? To answer these questions and much more, I have the pleasure of talking today to an AI expert, Josh Sullivan. He's the founding team and leader at Motsi. Welcome, Josh. Thank you, Ron. Good to be here. So when we talk about scaling AI at your enterprise, can you provide some more context, what it means, and also what typical barriers to adoption do you see in the market? Sure, Ron. Um, you know, let me start out by asking if you know something. Um, on average, only half of all AI models actually make it into production. So only 50%. I mean, that is a scary statistic. And for me, scaling AI means getting your models out of the lab and into production, you know, creating value. Um, we took a customer from nine months average deployment time for an AI model down to one day using the model ops tools and the Mozzie platform. You know, it's, for me, scale doesn't stop at deployment though. Um, once you start deploying AI models, more and more models, only then do you really start to uncover what I think is the greatest barrier to AI in the enterprise. And that's how to monitor and govern models. You know, right now, most organizations put so much work into building and training these perfect models. But in the real world, you know, drift detection, retraining to fix that drift, um, explainability of predictions, uh, preventing your model from being stolen and model probing, detecting data poisoning into a model, being able to control costs, especially GPU usage. These are the uh, often underestimated barriers that really make it hard for enterprises to um, create AI at scale. You know, let me give special attention to explainability. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's, it's like telling an AI model to show your work, right? And not all models can be explained. Certainly um, certain kinds of deep, deep neural networks uh, are way too complex for today's explainability methods. And there are performance and cost trade-offs. Um, that you set up between performance of a model and calculating explainability. But one of the most used model op features in the Mozzie platform is explainability. And it's, it's actually benchmarked as the fastest explainabil explainability solution um, on image classification, doing in two and a half seconds what it takes the leading open source package 105 seconds to do. So we're really trying to remove these trade-offs between performance and, and model explainability. Those are the kind of features that make model ops so important. Um, it really is a core capability for organizations who want to deploy, monitor, and govern machine learning at scale. And you were addressing already data governance, which also have security. You have to provide the right data, and you have to provide ethical AI. You have to do your talent recruitment, et cetera, et cetera. So there are many aspects you need to take care of if you start scaling AI. If you look to companies, what are they most concerned about? You know, Rod, I hear from CIOs and CTOs regularly about their biggest concerns with AI in the enterprise. And the answer always includes two things, integration with existing systems and cyber threats. Um, now on integration, you know, really never before has the importance of these open architecture solutions, which avoid vendor lock-in, never has that importance been so high. Um, every organization has complex IT environments. So an AI platform with powerful integrations is, is critical to success um, for AI in the enterprise. So you wanna look for platforms that bring open architecture, open APIs, ideally an, even an open source integration kit. Now, Ron, I'll tell you on the cyber threats and security, I hear about this all the time. You know, we all know AI opens up an entire new attack surface. I think it's vital mm -hmm. to understand the new AI, um, specific AI security threats. These are commonly, commonly called white box attacks and black box attacks. You know, that can be a little confusing. The simple version is this. If someone has access to your training data or they know the architecture of your model and they can um, change any of the model weights or model architecture, that lets an attacker manipulate the input data and fool a model. So suddenly a model designed to detect a stop sign sees a tree instead. So that's white box. Black box attacks can create the same outcome, but it only needs to look at the output of a trained model. So that's why these kinds of attacks 
um, are so vital to understand and at Mozzie, our security is really our absolute focus, military grade security of our platform, adversarial defense solutions to ensure security um, at the model level, model watermarking to protect your IP, you know, being able to detect attempts at model stealing and blocking poison data. That This is real table stakes for security um, of, uh, of AI in the enterprise. Yeah, and you addressed already multiple times this explainable AI is very important. Um, it should be auditable. It should be transparent AI. These are common terms that are used now in the market. Why is this important and how should enterprises apply this within their organization? Sure. You know, I think the topics of audit, um, explainability really boil down to trust. You know, Ron, as people, it's hard for us to trust something we, we may not understand. And one clear way to build trust is a comprehensive approach for managing your AI and informs your overall risk management. And I think that involves auditability of your training data to understand bias and risk and insider threat potentials of someone changing your training data. I think it's audit logs of how machine learning models are used in production. Certainly monitoring for drift to ensure production models don't introduce bias over time or that a model isn't being used in the wrong way. And certainly it's explainability so people understand why an AI model made a certain prediction. And something I've seen very successful is um, finally is having a human in the loop strategy where human intervention is required at key points during model training and testing of an algorithm. It really does create this continuous feedback loop and can create better results. And I think all of these strategies working together helps build trust. And ultimately that is what will accelerate the adoption of AI. Thank you, Josh, for providing some great insights about the why, the how, and the what of scalable AI. Thank you. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.